Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we are going to plant some pumpkins. I uh, have some pumpkin seeds and a spot in the garden plot. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what I'm going to do. And there's also an arbor. We're going to grow them up and over. Uh, instead of having them take up so much space. I thought it was a good idea. Let's see if it works. Anyway, let's get to planting. So the garden plot has changed a little bit since the last time you were here. Uh, we've got the, uh, the trellises here for the peas. And then we've got the trellis here for way up. For the pumpkin uh, as you can see so we're gonna plant the pumpkins just down in here and I bought some manure I bought some uh, well composted cattle manure here uh, no specific brand uh, you could use compost you can use manure you can use anything organic what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a mound of, uh, of organic material we're gonna put it right there and then we're going to plant the seeds so uh, let me just get the manure in place and we'll, uh, we'll start planting. Oh, and then I got the hose to water everything in. So this year I opted to go with uh, two varieties of pumpkins. I went with uh, a small sugar pumpkin, which would be more for pie making. And then I went for uh, jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, which are going to be a little bit bigger, and or hopefully bigger, and uh, we can carve them for the season. So I'm really excited about these. But I have a small space, and they recommend only planting three seeds per hill. I've, I've taken the manure and I've added to the hill and then I've dug in with the, the regular soil that's in here. It's a very sandy soil, very well draining soil, so it'll be good. Now we've got the organic material, which these are going to need because they're going to grow really, really quickly. And uh, so let's just get to planting these. And they want one, one inch depth for the seed. And uh, it takes about eight days, eight to ten days for them to start sprouting. So this will be exciting. And like you saw the trellis, they're going to grow up either side and uh, hopefully not get too invasive over the rest of the garden. It recommends three seeds per hill, so I'm going to plant six or so seeds per hill just in case some don't grow. If I can get enough in my hands. So I'm just going to go in and very simply just poke them in, no rhyme or reason, they'll find their own way up just everywhere here in the hill. I'll train them eventually to uh, to go where I want them to go. Let's do some jack-o'-lanterns now. I can't get into these seed pods anymore, or seed packs anymore. Okay, got these seeds as well. I'm not going to label, I'm just going to let them be. It'll be a surprise. And I might end up pulling some of them out as time goes on if, if I feel that I've got too many. But right now, that's it. Now we're just going to uh, cover them over. Hopefully we've done them about an inch deep. And uh, let's add some water so that they uh, can hopefully start their sprouting. You want to plant these, you want to try to plant these indoors maybe uh, four to six weeks before last frost. Um, but uh, I didn't have any time because I've been sick. But uh, it's beautiful outside now, so I'm just going to plant them direct. So, but I would recommend planting plants by now, but uh, I don't have that option at the moment. So, anyway, let's get the, the hose. Sorry for my shoulder. We'll just water it in. Well, stay tuned for more updates on these pumpkins as they grow and uh, more updates on the uh, garden plot in general. Soon we're going to be planting some tomatoes, so that's going to be exciting. And uh, yeah, lots more updates to come. I'm excited to see those ones and then a beet. And, and we're just planting in, in succession all the way across this bed. I thought that it would be overcrowded, but let's see how the, uh, the companion planting works. Again, I saw this in a book and I thought it would be really interesting. And because I'm growing at such a